contact all four systems. And there you go, go on modulation all four and keep with the go. This video, it's called, uh, you know, what the world doesn't know about lighting. Have you ever seen photo? Uh, God, what is the name? Hold on one second before I make an ass of myself. It's like called photo. Pretty crazy though. Look at this. This is not video footage. It's a render, but it looks pretty photo real, right? Like achieving this level of quality in CGI would normally require a huge amount of time and effort. But what if I told you that I easily made this in a matter of minutes thanks to a brand new technology called Nerf. Nerf. No, not that kind of Nerf. No, no, not that one either. No, I'm talking about neural radiance fields. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how they're gonna change filmmaking forever. It's literally impossible to tell now. When he shows some of this stuff, you're like, there's no way we can argue about what's real, what's not anymore. We had our chance. It's the 70s, it's the 80s when they were faking space. Because now you're just not going to be able to I've convince I to make a career out of experimenting with new technologies to create short films. And along the way, we've learned tons of tools such as deep fakes, virtual production, and one of my favorites, 3D scanning. Little known fact about photo scanning is that when Ren does photo it, scan, he makes sorry. a very specific face. Ren, would you like to show them the face that you make when you photo scan? There it is. It's the most serious face I've ever seen on Ren. It's every time he photo scans. It's always. We've been using photo scans in our videos for years. Being able to just take some photos and then after a few minutes, get a pretty good looking 3D model that I could then just use for whatever. I mean, come on, that's a superpower. But here's the thing. Photo scanning has always been just a shortcut on the road to rendering 3D scenes. A lot of effort is still needed to set up the lighting and make sure the scanned materials look correct because out of the box, they just never do. However, some things are simply impossible to scan. Fast forward a little bit of this. He just basically tries to photo scan that ball, but because of the reflection, nerves are supposed to solve this Can't thing. do it. Oh, well, I got a video for you, Sam. When I hit enter, this will be my first Neural Radiance Field. Okay, okay, I know these results are a little janky. It's kind of blurry, there's all these weird floating artifacts and holes everywhere, but the ball has accurate reflections. It's even got the transparency of the bottle. So here's the photo scan. But here is the nerf. After I tweeted out these results. So what, what always gets me is we know that the technology is beyond this, right? Like this is just some guy. <laughs> so to me, yeah, I, yeah like, like way, way beyond, beyond it, it, right? Years. Commercially I mean. allowed to purchase. Yeah, this is in the commercial realm now. Right. They have things beyond the commercial realm. Yeah. So, I mean, that just tells us that you know, when you see ISS footage or you see, because I mean, people will say something as simple as, Oh, well, the reflections on the ISS of the Earth below prove that it's real. It's insanity. Is this what their attempt will be to say they put people on the moon? Or are they going to not ever do it and just kick the can or somebody's going to get hurt or whatever? Well, I think it's going to be like a mix of uh, techniques. I am not, uh, I, I just based uh, in the chat the company called Zero Density, which was the, the company that uh, you are making the reference at the beginning of the show, uh, I, I put two links, one showing like a virtual studio with the, the land, the Mars rover in the center. And the other one is the technical, that's the demo uh, video. But I think in the, in the moment that they're going to fake the moon landing is going to be like a mix between post-processing video footage release as a live footage. And the other maybe could be something live, but uh, not all virtual. Uh, I think they're going to use the same techniques like Star Wars using the real environment, but with the advantage of uh, using things like Unreal to mix background. They, I, what I'm trying to say is they're going to update the technique of the frontal projection with the new techniques using mega scans, real scans, uh, 3D matching in real time, and, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, mm -hmm. But I don't think they're going to do it all CG. I, I don't think... Uh, I, I, they, they, they still have the problem with the stars, maybe 
I don't know what is going to do. Maybe they keep the black background, but yeah, they have to. I, I yeah, I, I don't think they're going to rush uh, with that. I, I think they're going to wait a little bit more, like maybe one day get more or, or something with the, uh, you know, waiting from the AI, AI uh, keeps growing and make better. Because for example, the thing that you showed before, the, this neural radiance is based on AI. And right now the AI can do, man, uh, things that, I never even think <laughs> to do it uh, in automatic process. So as long the AI keep growing uh, and they, you know, keep pushing that technology, maybe that's gonna be the, the time when they fake uh, another celestial body uh, conquer. Hmm. Uh, Zach, what do you think? Um, I don't even think they're gonna try it. They might. Now that they have this new tool or this tool, but I mean, if they do it, they know they cannot make a mistake. And there are so many people out there looking for them now. So, I mean, we were supposed to have a base on the moon in 2012, according to George Bush. And then look what happened. We had a global act of terrorism that totally upset everything. And we had to go to a war and NASA got put on a back shelf. Yeah, I certainly agree with that. I think it's going to be just kicked down the road. I don't think they can fake it.